Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone this morning? I still have not fixed that ring light. <laughs> See, we've got a bit of a lag because I just now came on to my other device. So if you're just coming in, you can see at the top, I have um, Danny Calver Vintage, um, her link to her Instagram, because I want to show you a couple things. Now, these are not for sale, but she and I connected on um, Instagram and man, I don't even know how long ago, but you know, she came up as suggested as someone you might like or whatever Instagram does. And one of her first Instagram posts that I saw had swans and I was like, <gasps> swans. And so, um, I had commented on this one and it had been her mom's and she's not a swan person, but, um, she got a hold of me and she's like, do you want that one? I'm like, oh, yes. I mean, look at the Art Deco lines on this one. I have no idea of the maker. It just says USA. Um, but I love the lines. I love the color. And so she, good morning, Helen. Good morning, Barbie. Good morning, Janine. So she, I said, how much? And she said, oh, I'll just send it to you because it's got a small chip that you can't even see when it's sitting this way, but it's tiny. Look at this. So we follow each other on Instagram and then, oh, probably almost six weeks ago, she did a giveaway. First person to comment on that post that she posted that day, got this. Got, hi Angela, got this. This very late, and I was the first person, like I would just happen to be on the second that she posted so if you have an Instagram and you're not following Danny Calver, you can go follow her. Her Instagram is at the top there. I suppose I could pin that comment. Oh, if I can figure out how to do that. There. So that's pinned at the top. Danny's awesome. And she's a fellow Ohioan. So I won this on her giveaway. This is the kind of person you want to follow when they give away fairy lamps, especially this gorgeous, gorgeous color. And since I had moved, this is the first thing I moved over here because I didn't want it to get broken in the move. And there's red on this room. Hi, Val. Um, so this goes perfectly in here. So I just wanted to show you that. She also has an eBay. It's Danny Calver Vintage. It's her eBay. She sells great stuff. So, oh, Angela, you're sick. That sucks. But yeah, I'm still trying to not be sick. So, wanted to show you that. And then I wanted to show you guys. Oh, these are so cool. So, I don't have Amazon Prime. But I like to order enough to get the free shipping with $25 purchase, right? Well, I needed Kinesio tape to tape up my knee where I've got the torn meniscus. I was out of it. And so um, there wasn't anything else that I needed right then. So I just typed in vintage stickers. These are like the second or third thing that came up. And I was like, oh, aren't these fantastic? So let me show you. I don't know which color would show up best on camera, but oh my gosh, I'm in love with these. The, to me, the images look like um, images off of sewing patterns. So I don't know if that's where they took the images from, but, and the stickers actually are clear, not white. When you take them off of the backing, they are clear. So most of them are pretty 50s inspired. Every now and then, oh, I love this one. And I got two of each and all six of the colors, every dress is different. Like they, they didn't double up and make like the pinks, also the blacks. So every now and then I'll find one that seems very um, 
1960s, 1970s to me. And that one of these had a, like a flapper dress in it too. So, but most of them are um, very 1950s silhouettes. But I was just thrilled. See, to me, that's more 1960s because of the, the helmet hair. You never know what you're going to get when you order stuff blindly, but uh, these are good. Some of them have two or three figures too. But see why I think they look like patterns? Like the, the, the image on the front of a pattern. Hi, Mary. Anyway, so I had to show you guys those. I want to start doing some um, paper journal, like some, like, I don't know, they're, it's not scrapbooks because I'm not going to put pictures in it, but, you know, that kind of, and I'm not doing junk journaling because I'm not using junk, but I'm kind of, I want to do that kind of thing now that I'm settled in. I miss being, I'm hashtag team no craft. We know this, but I do, I mean, anybody can stick paper to paper, right? And stick stickers on top of paper. So, so that, <laughs> that is my plan when I finally settle down. Things are starting to settle down. Still got to unpack the room, but today called for 12 ounces of coffee. It got my big cup. So you know it's mine. I have also stickers for sale. So if anybody is interested, I did a giveaway with these, but if anybody's interested, they are $3 a piece. That does include shipping. If you buy something, I'll stick it in your package. They're all the same. Um, these are from Sticker Mule, so they're that really nice, heavy. But if you just want one, let me know, and I will drop it in a little card and send it to you. Good morning, Donna Marie. I've been thinking about it, Helen. Now that things have settled down, now this weekend I've still got, I've got the garage sale, and then Saturday night I'm going to be on Aaron Proctor's channel. So I'm finally, I still have um, messages to, I have people that message me about sales. I've got to get back to them, but Aaron had asked me first, so I got back to him first. So I will be popping up on other people's channels in the next few weeks, but I was going to ask you, Helen, if I could come on when things are finally, <laughs> everything is finally done and put back together and I'm getting there. I'm getting right now. There's just a lot of totes sitting around here. And my boy cat is not happy with me that he doesn't have room to run. So I'm going to work on that today. I did catch up all of my shipping. Everything but one package was paid for and went out the door yesterday. So I know Helen was waiting on a package from me and um, everything's out. It went out yesterday. It's all shipped except for that one that um, hasn't paid for yet. Okay, so today's question, would you rather see a sunrise or a sunset? Would you rather see a sunrise or a sunset? <laughs> Helen, I love you. <laughs> so for me, honestly, I love to watch the sunrise, but I don't get up that early. I just so I see far more sunsets than sunrise, but I love a good sunrise. And when I used to have to drive the kids to school, I loved watching. We'd start out when it was dark, and then you'd get to see the sunrise and. So I love a good sunrise. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> the cat woke me up this morning. I'm not kidding you guys. At 5, it's like 5.23 or something. It was before 5.30. And I looked at that. I'm like, why? He was rattling the door to the rest of the house. And he, we don't let him out in the rest of the house because, number one, mom and dad, I mean, this is where I get it from. Glass collectibles. I have a lot of glass collectibles. Number two, they have two dogs. And we've let them kind of meet through the door, but we haven't let them. We're not sure how they would react. And uh, right now, we are babysitting my sister. It's a bigger dog. So definitely he can't go out. But he was rattling that door. I don't know why. He's 
just antsy right now. So I could have seen the sunrise today, except I didn't go outside. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Don't forget that Helen is on in 45 minutes. So uh, head over to her channel after you leave my channel if you are inclined to do so. I can't tell you what to do, but Helen's awesome. So, And this sale today is going to start me offering things for sale that came out of my relatives. Um extended family hoarder house. So some of this stuff is mine and some of this stuff came out of there. And I'll tell you which things came out of there because it's been very cool to help them go. There's one more room to get through before um, this month is over. We'd like to get through that last room on that one level. And then we think everything in the basement is probably just trash. I mean, I, we don't think there's much that's going to be salvageable down there, but one more room to get through. Um, I, my sister who was also helping fell and broke her knee and I was in the middle of moving and we have not gotten back out there to do that, but we do want to get out there and finish that last room. So first item up, cause I did bring some fall items is mine. This did not come out of the house, but it is six napkin rings. These are ceramic. Perfect for this time of year. If you set a fancy table. And they're in pretty good condition. There was one I think had a little bit of really faint dinging right there below my fingertip. So six napkin rings. This is what they look like. They put the detail in there to make those look like branches. I love that. And even the back. They did the veining of the leaf on the back. The front has more color. So really like these. I had picked them up to do a fall tablescape, except now I don't have the room for that kind of thing. So all six napkin rings. I don't think they're incredibly vintage, but they're in good shape. $10, number nine. $10. Number nine for those. Now I have two of these. So um, there are two people who could get them if they want or flat price. Apple bells. Brass apple bells. I think they have a really nice sound. Oh, they have different tones. So just little. I believe these were American greetings. Now these did come out of the hoarded house and um, we found more than these two. These two were in the best shape. So they are $6 a piece, number 11. $6 a piece, number 11. If you wanted to put that in your fall, fall tablescape. This also came out of that house. It is a scarf and I don't normally sell scarves. It was made in Japan. And again, I can't tell you the date. I can just tell you it was made in Japan. It does have a tag and it says 65% nylon, 35% metallic. Not metallic thread, just metallic. Um, hand wash separately, lay flat to dry. I did wash it and I did hang it up to dry last night. So it's, it dried fairly quickly. So it's gold on the back and it is this just gorgeous. But it's not soft because it does have that metallic thread woven into the material. Um, let me tell you how long it is. I think it's going to end up being four feet. Oh, a little over four feet long, but it's a skinny one. It's a long, skinny one. I 
think it would go nicely with fall. And light enough you can wear it when it's still warm. It's that coppery red, so pretty. It is $8 number two. $8 number two. And if I missed you saying hi, hello, thanks for being here today as I get back on track. And pinned at the top, if you missed that, is um, Danny Calver's Instagram, just because she's awesome and I think you should follow her. Got a little bit of clear glass. These are brand new, but the package had water damage, so I tossed the package. But Indiana glass. They call this color crystal. Obviously, it's just glass, not crystal. But the color was crystal. And these are, the, I believe, the seven-inch ones. Yes, seven-inch ones. And they call these candlestick slash vase. I've sold one of the teal ones before, which the teal is super pretty. So you can put a candlestick in there. or you can use it as a single rose vase. So since they were new in box, they were still sealed. There's no damage to them or anything. Just the box had water damage, so I had to toss it. But for both of them, $10, number 17. Just a very classic, versatile product. Good morning, Geneva. What about you, Geneva? Do you prefer a sunrise or a sunset? That was our question of the day. Okay, these I had bought for myself for the bathroom that I had all the metals in, in the last apartment. And if you haven't seen that um, video, I did do a video walkthrough of saying goodbye to the apartment. These are the home interiors, this size. Now, the price is going to be pretty low on these because each of the leaf stems has been bent at some time. If you like these, but you want a set that is basically brand new, you can go on eBay and find these that look immaculate and pay more but still have the box with them and everything so if you need these for your fall decorating and you want a set that doesn't have a little bit of dings um they are available on ebay right now they're just going to cost more these are the hangers are all Home interiors, I know we've all seen them. $8, number 20. $8, number 20. Sunrise, yeah. Me too, Geneva. All right, I did have this in Glass with Class a few weeks ago. I love it. It didn't sell, so I brought it back. This is a Jim Beam decanter from the 1970s. This is the discus. It's slag glass. Look at that. Gorgeousness. Even the stopper. Beautiful. Has a good seal still. Ooh. I love that this particular slag glass looks like marble. It's so pretty. And it is kind of tall. Um, 13 and a quarter inches to the top of the stopper. And I did drop the price a little bit on it because I'm afraid if it keeps sitting around here, it's going to get broken. So you get a really good deal a day. Only $12, number 16. Yes. Yes, Geneva. That is exactly what I love about it, too. $12, number 16. Jim Beam decanter from the 70s. 
No chips, no cracks. Ooh. It's so funny. I wanted to do an understated um, fall makeup look today. And I'm like, how do I have no neutrals? Everything is purple and green and blue. <laughs> I had to really struggle to find some neutrals in my color palette. <laughs> okay, my next item. This did come out of the hoarded house. It is a William Penn cigar box. But it's full of stuff. Full of stuff. So I can tell you some of the things are in here. And it's, it was just somebody's junk box. So it's not like there's anything super fantastic in here. But there is ribbon typewriter, cotton black medium inking for Royal Standard Electric Machine. It's still in here from March of 1964. How fun is that? <laughs> I didn't open the box. There's something in the box. There's some broken watches in here. This Timex took a ticking and did not, or took a licking and did not keep on ticking because the face is cracked there. A little watch in there. Um, measuring tape. Some keychains, some buttons, you know, so random stuff. The cigar box itself usually sells for about 20. This particular one, I don't know what makes this one special because I don't know enough about them. The other ones on there don't sell for near as much, but this one with this graphic seems to um, sell for more. Hi, Karen. No, um, it was a hoarder house. They kept everything, everything. We have found um, receipts from the 60s mixed in with receipts from the 80s mixed in with receipts from last year. Like, they kept everything, everything. So, everything in here came out of the hoarder house. But, I mean, we found lots and lots of things like this. And you'd have jewelry mixed in with pens, mixed in with playing cards, with just, whew, unraveling it has been a thing. But anyway, I don't know why, I don't know enough about cigar boxes to know why this one sells for more than others of the same brand. But this particular graphic sells for more. I don't know. So I'm only asking 15 for the box and everything in it. Good morning, Norma Jean. To get a box of stuff. $15, number 19. $15, number 19. These I had bought for myself. And then within like two weeks, went to that antique store last year and found the dresser set that had the case that's on display on my dresser. And it's the same brand, but this was only the mirror and the brush. And this had the whole, it had the case, it had the mirror, the brush, the comb, and I think two of the powder jars. So I replaced these with that one because it was the pink and the blue that my bedroom is. I had bought these because they were nice neutral. So they fit into my bedroom. But when I found something better, I went with that. So originally, this would have had a comb and most likely one or two of the little powder dishes with the lids that would have had this pattern on it too. This one's in really good condition. This one's actually in better condition than the one I have. But the one I have is the blue and pink and has the whole set. So here's the mirror. And it's that um, material where you can feel the, the threading. I don't know. A lot of things in my grandma's house felt this way when I was a kid. Here's the handle. There's the mirror.
See, the brush is in really good condition. And this was the kind of brush you could um, clip off and clean. So that part of it still works too. It help, holds well. Good morning, Georgia. I do have another set of these um, that came out of the hoarder house. They're in really bad shape, but I'll be selling them at a really reduced rate if somebody likes them just to display. 13 and a half inches long on the mirror and the brush is 10 inches long. So this set, $15, number seven. $15, number seven. And if you weren't here earlier on Saturday, I'm going to be on Aaron Proctor's channel. Saturday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern time. He had asked me, uh, when I, back when I was in the middle of moving. So um, I'm trying to go in the order that people ask me. So I have people I haven't responded to yet about getting onto their channels or having them on mine. But I will be on his channel Saturday. And then next week on my channel, Thursday afternoon, uh, Barbie and Nikki and I are going to be hanging out again and selling some cool stuff. I love it when the three of us hang out. Okay, next item, I've had it in a bag to protect it, is this little sequined purse. Now, I have no idea on the age of this. Mom and I looked at it. We do believe it's hand beaded. I'll give you a close up. But it's got this really pretty pattern and these iridescent sequins behind all these tiny, tiny little seed beads. Inside the pocket, and the, the inside's just beautiful. Inside the pocket were these little um, oh, what are they, are they place card holders that, you know, where they put your name on it when you're at a dinner and the back says litho and USA. So these are older. Oh yeah, it is. It was, we had all the windows open the last two days. It stayed just low seventies. It was so nice. Now it's supposed to warm back up and by Friday, which is going to be, I'm going to do the garage sale Friday and Saturday. Friday's supposed to be 81. So Friday's going to be the warmest day of the week. It's still only 81. It could be like 91. So that if you want to carry it just as a clutch, there is a spot right here where there's some discoloration. Um, there was two spots. The other spot was even smaller. So since I didn't know the age, I priced it kind of low. I just think it's beautiful, but it is tiny. At its widest part at the bottom, six and a half inches. At the top, it's only five inches and its depth is only five inches. So I don't even think you could fit a phone, maybe a flip phone, but you could, um, Definitely drop your lipstick and your credit card and your ID in there. And isn't that all you need? I mean, really? $12, number 10. $12, number 10. I love the iridescence. I'm gonna put it back in the bag and protect it. Norma Jean. I've got two other people I know I have to respond to. I have to dig back through my emails and make sure there wasn't anybody else I missed. So this next item is fun. My niece picked these up. She likes to um, if she's at a garage show without me, which is rare, but every now and then it happens and she sees something that she knows that I would like to sell. She picks it up. So she picked up this little guy from 1986. 
Dalmatian and his fire hydrant, salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so it does say 1986 there on the bottom. Yeah, 1986. I don't have a brand on it. And these are not small for salt and pepper shakers. So the dog stands three and a half inches, the fire hydrant almost three and a half inches. The length on the dog is four and a half inches. So these are a little bit bigger size, but adorably cute. And these are going to be $10, 12, no, that's the wrong one. That was the purse. <laughs> $10, number one. $10, number one on the shakers. Now, this is interesting. My one grandmother, the one that's still living, she's in her 90s now. She lived in Bowling Green, where we have Bowling Green University. And um, she was a huge supporter of the art program, even though my dad and his sisters, none of them were artists. But she was a huge supporter. She always donated. And they went every time they had an art show at the university, she went and she purchased items. So I've sold some of the things that she purchased. I've kept a lot. I, I've got some um, paintings hanging in here that came from her. But um, she used a lot of it. And she just loves supporting the arts. So this shell soap dish trinket dish is marked Marsha Tavel here on the back. And it's got a number, and I don't know if this was, because it looks like 4069. So um, when I looked up Marsha Tavel just to see if she went on to become an artist and, and stay doing this, Canada eBay had another one of her pieces, and the number on the back was like 748. So I think it was just her way of marking them. I don't think it's a date, but I do know it's at least older then because she stopped going to the art fairs and purchasing items um i don't think she was doing it in the last 20 years because she's in her 90s now so probably when she was around 70 she stopped going and buying items so so it's at least 20 years old so, so it's vintage but i thought it was interesting that there's another piece by this artist on sale right now canada ebay so just a little pottery Soap dish, trinket dish, made to look like a shell. Just very basic white. So it fits in with a lot of different decor. It does sit nicely. So it doesn't, once it's on a flat surface, like it doesn't move. It does stay. So this little shell dish, signed shell dish, $8 number 13. $8 number 13. If you do a very minimalist I'm a maximalist, lots and lots of color everywhere, but I know some people aren't, and that is perfectly fine. If you like to keep it simple, $8 number 13. Next one is a whole bag of clip earrings and one tiny bracelet. Ooh, it is starting to warm up in here. It's gonna be warmer today than yesterday. I will show you the bracelet first. It's Sarah Coventry. And we all know I love Sarah Coventry, but it's tiny. So it absolutely does not begin to fit my wrist. So this is included in this lot. And then these are all clip earrings that were either too similar to something I've already got or um, were screw backs, and I just cannot wear the screw backs. I just, I know some people prefer them, but I cannot wear the screw backs. So 
I've got this set. All of these are either clip or screw backs. There are two sets of black in here. A set of white that have a little bit of a sheen to them. This gold-ish pair. This pair is also gold tone. Here's another pair, it's gold tone. There are 15 items all together in here. This silver tone pair, kind of cool, but they didn't want to stay on my ears. These are Monet. These ballerina slipper ones, which are super fun. Another silver tone clip. Um, Geneva. When measuring bracelets, do you just measure the the length? If you're not measuring the clasp, it's six and a half inches long. If you measure the clasp, it's six and three quarters. This set, which were too similar to another set that I have, that actually I have a brooch that matches them, so I didn't need those. These are screw backs. Um, these are screw backs. I, oh, I love these. I'm so sad that I just, I cannot wear the screw backs. Look how pretty these are. There's the, the screw back on those. And then these two sets, the last two sets in here, I got these from Daniel. He had a set of three rhinestone earrings, the one pair I wanted, and I don't need the other two pair plus their screw backs. So rhinestones, these came from Daniel Tacky as me. And the other pair, are just short rhinestones, super pretty. So for all, um, oh, I forgot I added the, ha, I forgot I threw the bracelet in last minute. So I had 14 pair of clip earrings for 14. Bracelet's free. <laughs> $14, number 12 for the whole bag. You get 15 pieces. I showed these on my glass with class, but I wanted to bring them back again because it's almost spooky season, and I just think these are lovely in any display. So you do get a cadmium glow in them. You know, it doesn't show up. I don't think... Okay, no cadmium glow on this, but definitely a cadmium glow on this one. So the little creamer with the applied handle, both are hand blown. This one is three and a half inches. Oh, they're about the same height. And then the orange. I had this in my Halloween display last year. So candy corn and very orange. Both hand blown, I love them. They're satin glass, which feels so soft. For both, it's $12, number six. $12, number six. And I've shown, these last two items I've shown before also, but this Murano style compote Look at the twist on the stem. And then this optic 
and this very tiny ruffle along the top. It's just gorgeous. I think it would fit into any fall decor. It is seven and a half inches tall. And I can't say for sure it's Murano. I don't think it is because there is a bubble in the glass. Oh, it's not going to show. There's a bubble in the glass right here. And Murano wouldn't have allowed that, I don't believe. So, but it is hand blown. It's applied to the bottom here. You can see that. But it's got so much beautiful detail, beautiful amber color. Awesome, Geneva. So I've got you down for the candy corn creamer and the orange mini vase. So here's its size. I love this. It came out of my personal collection. $20, number three. I know, the stem is amazing. So Murano style, but I don't think it's Murano just because of that one bubble in there. Oh, Dalmatian fell over. Gotta stand up, buddy. And my last one of the day, I'm bringing back the six petal Viking swung vase. This one I think is 12 and a half inches. Yeah, 12 and a half inches. In this gorgeous green. It's beautiful. And it is $30, number five. $30, number five. And if you are watching on the replay and you're interested in something, my email's right here. And my email is Claudia K C A Y E vintage at gmail.com. And if you missed it, Danny Culver Vintage. Her Instagram is pinned at the top so you can go follow her. But I won this from her. She did a giveaway. Oh, isn't that beautiful? She did a giveaway and I won this fairy lamp from her. She was just passing on the love. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And she's a fellow Ohioan. She has... um an eBay too, under the same name. So just wanted to give a shout out to one of my friends on here. So that's all I've got for you today. I will be on with um, Aaron Proctor on his channel Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Next week, Glass with Class is on my channel. And I can't remember what we decided to talk about. It's one of the mid-century modern glass makers is what we'll be talking about. Um, next class with class. And then Wednesday, I'll have my regular coffee and chat. And then Thursday afternoon, Barbie and Nikki and I will, next week, we'll be having a sale on my channel. The three of us back again. Super excited about that. I haven't gotten to hang, hang out with the two of them in quite a while. So lots of fun stuff coming up. Don't forget in 15 minutes, Helen is on. And I think today might be the Vintage Golden Girls. She does that once a month now. So check out Helen and I will see you guys all later. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me.